Hello guys and welcome back to another Atletico Madrid career mode episode. Before we go any further, make sure you follow me on Twitter at SubSweddyGamers to keep up to date with all the latest news and if you just want to chat, you're more than welcome to. So let's get into this episode and as you know from the last couple of episodes, we've had a few big, big contract offers for national teams. Now I've rejected Wales, I'm also going to reject France because I have made my decision and you're probably going to guess which one because I'm also rejecting England. And I'm not going to wait any longer. <coughs> and I do believe Portugal will be one of the best choices possible for me. And we're going to use, you know, we've got the likes of Nani, Cristiano Ronaldo. We've even got William Carvalho. Obviously, I made a big mistake a couple of episodes back saying he was Brazilian. That was my bad. I knew he was Portuguese originally, but I got confused. I don't know how. But there we go. It's official. We are the Portugal manager of the international side. It's going to be pretty damn epic. I'm hoping we can get quite far as well. But we can concentrate on Atletico Madrid now and in the league we have two two games for you and we have a second leg in the Spanish Cup. I can't remember which competition that one is. It's not the Copa del Rey. It's the, I think it's the Super Cup of Spania. I'm not sure. No, I think that was the first one at the beginning of this series. Yep. Yeah. Well, either way, we've got three games, and the first one is at home to Valencia. Now, they are a good, good side, and this season they've been having, I would say, a good season. They're sort of top six, top eight material, so they're not rubbish, and they're very, very good on the counter-attack. They've got some good players, but I do believe we can come out on top of this one. Now, obviously, my home matches have been pretty damn shite. Away, I've been better than I have been at home, which doesn't make much sense. But hopefully this home game, we can continue our winning streak. We've won five in a row now, guys. We are near the top of the table. We're second place. And here was, here's our team lineup for the game as well. As you see, David Villa starting with Farfan and Depay. Either side of him. <coughs> it's looking like a strong, strong lineup. Now, before I go any further, I am quite ill at the moment. I've got like a cold, so I'm all bunged up and probably going to be sniffing and coughing and whatnot, but hopefully it won't be too bad and I apologise if it's very irritating because it's irritating for me and I probably sound a little bit croaky as well, I'm not too sure, but early on and a good good chance for ourselves there and the keeper puts it out for a corner and can we make this chance and convert this into a goal, no we can't, it's cleared away and we can move on and 26 minutes gone into the game, Valencia are pushing for a goal it's been quite a good match so far, it's been very even, uh, possession wise Valencia have probably had a bit more, but we have a chance here, Depay, look at the pace on Depay, he's got a chance, he changes side, Depay with a shot, oh what a goal and it's 1-0, thank you Depay and it's 1-0 with a great great finish, what a bit of play there on the counter attack and a lovely bit of movement there from Depay and what a rocket of a strike and we are 1-0 up. <clears throat> we can move onwards now, 43rd minute and Valencia do have a chance here, it's quite late into the first half and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what the fuck is going on, as you saw there, a major defensive fuck up, I don't know what happened, the defenders just didn't seem, didn't seem to do anything and one of the smallest players on the pitch, if not the smallest player on the pitch has scored a diving header, it was a good header, I don't know what Courtois is doing, he could have probably probably should have saved that but we go in half time 1-0 and as I said I'm still going to stick to it, it's very even the scoreline is probably a very accurate result at the moment with how we're playing because we are not exactly playing great but we do have a chance here, 56th minute into the game, a good chance headers there and what a header that was and I think that was Diego Costa, and yes it was, what a header, that was a fucking screamer of a header, and it makes, well, it puts us in the lead, and Diego Costa, I think that's his 10th league goal as well this season already, and what a header, oh my god, that is such a great header, I know headers are not exactly the best kind of goal to score, but it is a goal, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take that away from Diego Costa, that was pretty damn classy, so as you can see here, 82 minutes gone into the match, we only have a few minutes left of the game and Valencia pushing for an equaliser. I'm just hoping they don't get one. They've got a chance. Are you fucking kidding me? Courtois, what are you doing? He could have saved out with ease. And what did he do? He, fought, he fell on the floor like an old granddad. 
and we've conceded really late on, and that could bugger us, bugger us up. Look at that, Courtois, you could have got to that. Fucking hell, I could have got to that. Anyway, 90th minute, and we're just waiting for the ref to blow his whistle, and he surely should do it any moment now. Oh, we're on the counter-attack. Can we? Oh, you bastard. As we get the ball for a counter-attack, the ref does blow. So the first game has ended in a two-all draw. That isn't bad, but it isn't good, really. We need to keep on winning to keep up the pressure on Real Madrid, who are sitting top of the league. But Barcelona, same games, are still a few points behind us. So that's good. That is good news. They're still behind us, and we're still second place. Now, a couple of contract offers. Diego, obviously, he must have signed on a one-year deal because... He only signed for Atletico Madrid at the beginning of last season or in January. And I can't see how his contract's running out already. But here we are just offering up a few uh, players' contract extensions. Because they have less than a year left. And obviously when you have, <clears throat> I think it's around six, seven months left, uh, other clubs can, can negotiate a contract for the end of the season, for the end of your contract. So... They get him for free, basically. And I'm not going to let Diego go for free. If not, I'll sell him. But <coughs> he is definitely not going for free. So we can move on to the next game. It's another home match. And it's against Levante. And this one should most definitely be a win. But, again, it's world class and anything can happen. This season, I've really, really noticed that. It's been very tough. But as you can see there, 16 games gone. 10 wins, 5 draws, 1 loss. That is a very, very good season for Atletico Madrid so far. And hopefully we can win the league. I mean, it's not it's not going to be uh, too easy. It's going to be very difficult. But like they did this year, I mean, they, I, mean I, I watched the Champions League final and that was such a good game. And then they just run out of steam and Real Madrid powered through them in the end. But as long as we can win a trophy, that would be a very, very good season. If we don't... Uh, well, you know, I can't really say it's a bad season, but it's not going to be a great season because the board want me to win the league. They wanted a good Champions League run. Obviously, we're not in the Champions League. We're in the Europa League. Hopefully, we can cause some damage in there, but nothing is certain. Now, 17 minutes gone, and as you see, Levante with a great shot off the post, and again, Courtois fucks up, and he's starting to really bug me now because he's been doing it quite a lot of games. Some really simple shots... Uh, he can't seem to save. It's really, really irritating because Levante have taken the lead. And I do blame Courtois for that. I mean, it was a rebound off the post. But look at this. He gets up and he just walks away from the player that has the ball, which doesn't make no sense. Basically giving him a better opportunity to score. So, 36 minutes gone into the game. We have a chance. That's pretty much our only decent chance this half. And it's been really frustrating. Hopefully we can score a goal soon because if not we are going to be in serious trouble. We can't afford to lose a game at home, not really. But half time it is a 1-0 lead for Levante. And second half, well let's see what it brings because we are going to need a goal or two. And here we go, 47 minutes gone and Farfan has a chance here. 1-1, on -one. Farfan shoot and the keeper saved. What a chance there for us to score and equalise. But Farfan here with the corner. Whips it in, Miranda's there, oh what a header, and Miranda scores and equalises for the game, and it is 1-0 now, 49th minute goal, and surely, surely we can go on and score another and win this game, we are in desperate need for win, it doesn't <coughs> matter too much if we draw, but we cannot afford to lose, and slip up and keep dropping points, we do need to win, and if we stop winning and lose a few games we're gonna probably put ourselves in danger of finishing third or fourth which is not good and are you freaking kidding me a few minutes later and they go and score again literally four minutes later and I swear that guy was offside but it's the same guy who scored the first goal for Levante and I'm not even gonna watch a replay it's seriously irritating so we are 2-1 down at home 74th minute to pay here out on the wing Cuts in, he's got a great chance, he finesse shots, and the bastard misses a good opportunity, and we couldn't seem to put it away. It looks like Levante are going to hold on though, as you can see in this clip now, 90th minute. Oh, you bastard ref. And the referee does blow for full time, so we have lost this game, it's been a disappointing result, 
it seems like the good news of signing for Portugal, the international team, has sort of put a damper on the team, Atletico Madrid's team, because we can't seem to get any good form the last two games. But we're going to have to move on and focus on the last game of this episode. It is a cup match, and it is a second leg. We lost the first leg 3-0, which was very, very disappointing, considering it was a home match as well. So it's going to be tough. If they can beat us 3-0 at home, they must be good enough to win again. So we're going to have to play very well <laughs> and hopefully claim a good win. If we, get, if we win 3-0, it will go into extra time, and then we could probably nick the game from there. But nothing is a cert for certain, so I've just got to give them my best shot. I, you know, wish me luck, guys, because it's going to be very difficult. And this competition is actually called the Spanish Cup, so I was right just by naming it the Spanish Cup. So that's that's good news for me. <laughs> that's um, <laughs> I thought it was going to be something ridiculous, but it isn't. And we can focus on the game. And here's our starting eleven for this game. And as you can see. It's a good, strong starting 11. Hopefully we can get the win. That is pretty much all I'm looking for at the moment is the win. Because <coughs> if we don't get the win, and apologies, I'm just wiping my Xbox down as I'm speaking. <coughs> if we don't get the win, it's going to look incredibly bad and the board might actually turn around and sack us. And we don't want to get sacked. Not as we're side. I'm sort of halfway through a decent season. Pretty damn bad news. So far, found there with a great chance, running all the way the length of the pitch, and he couldn't quite make anything happen. But 16, 17 minutes gone. Arda Turan picks up the ball here, being held back. Advantage. Come on, ref. Whips the ball in. Diego Costa's there, and it's another headed goal. Diego Costa again scoring for us, and it's an 18th minute goal, and we are one nil up in this game, and that is three one on aggregate. Two more goals to go. 45th minute now, and as you can see, it's not looking like we're going to score any more goals in the first half. Arda Turan, though, has a chance if he keeps it in, and no, he does not. We just wait for the ref to blow his whistle because it is looking like <coughs> this first half is pretty much over. And there we go, full to, um, not full time whistle, sorry guys, half time whistle, and it is 1 0 to us, 3 1 on aggregate to Zaragoza, and hopefully we can grab two more goals and take it to extra time or even score three more goals and win 4-3 on aggregate that would be absolutely amazing Farfan here with a chance whip a ball in and the header what a header that was and a great save from their keeper we do have a corner whips the ball in Diego Costa's there and it's another goal and it's 2-0 and thank God for that early goal in the second half and we are 2-0 up now thank you Diego Costa what a corner and what a header, another header goal, I don't care, it's like the fifth header goal in a row, but we are winning matches, and that is what counts, 84th minute though, <coughs> and we did have a chance, but Zaragoza have a counter attack, come on, we can't let them score, guys. I know we've only got a few minutes left, but that will end all hopes of staying in this competition, and they've got a chance, they're one on one with Courtois, and thank God Courtois actually made a decent save, crikey, that was close, but as you can see guys, the full-time whistle has gone, we have won the match 2-0, but we are knocked out of the competition, 3-2 on aggregate, very disappointing, but we can take note from this episode, we have signed for Portugal the international team, we've had Diego Costa back scoring regularly, we've had the team playing well, and a good few results, um, uh, minus the loss. But, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more FIFA 14 content, and until next time guys, take care.